Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Sandi Muhammad Ramdani from 2E and I would like to accomplish Mr. Hanan assignment Bismillahirrahmanirrahim First of all let us praise and thank the presence of Allah Almighty for the abundance of the grace the joy of all of us can still gather in this place without any barriers at all and in good health I hope you guys all keep in a good health not forgetting the salawat and greeting we pour out to the Prophet Muhammad who has brought us to the dark who has brought us out of the dark age to the era of bright light today namely Islam may we all get intercession on on the end and in on this occasion allow me standing to accomplish Mr. Hanan assignment we all know the very first revelation that Allah sent down was Ikra and Ikra cards mean to read, to explore, to learn, to learn more, and the purpose of the the purpose of the of the first revelation, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was to tell him that Allah would give him knowledge directly. Al Alak Ayah One, Ikra Bismi Rabbika Lazi Halak, read or recite directly from. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the same series that Allah revelated Ikra is repeated if you look at it Al-Alaq ayah 1 and few ayah later Ikra wa rabbukal akram twice and some scholar has said that the purpose of the repetition is the first Ikra is a reverence to Islamic science. Why? Because is it linked with knowledge from Allah? Ikra bismi rabbikal nadi halak and the second Ikra is a river is a reverence to secular science that the we devour why? We derive why? Because right after the Allah says, Ikra wa rabbukal akram allama bil qalam, the one who is taught by the pen. And what do we read the pen? Read by the pen. We read the knowledge of the men we read, whatever. They have come forth with encyclopedias, research paper of all the secular science. This is what is written by the pen so Allah telling us to learn first knowledge of the religion and the second is the learn of knowledge of this world whatever in this on this world a math a literature a administration administration a relation human social and whatever whatever in this world So, there is no question that Allah has praised the knowledge and thought, intellect and revelation and there is no denying that in our Islamic stories unlike previous religion and, the, and other civilization, our civilization was the only one that was religious S and scientific at the same time because I lead you to the Mufti I must be more acknowledgeable than the Mufti so now you need to listen instead of the Mufti what is what is all of this example in this case the Mufti is the Quran and the Sunnah 
and this is the human intellect. They guide the they, they guide that led us to the Quran is our akal. Once we are guided to the Quran, the role of the akal doesn't take supremacy over the role of the mufti, the role of the Quran. The example is right here, and so even Samia says, if this we are, we are, if this were to happen to you, you would say to guy that you testified that he is the schooler of Stockholm. So, now that I, that you have testified, you have no right to disagree because you have testified that this is the share of the city and the fact that you lead me to the Sheikh doesn't make you Sheikh. Similarly, the Akal and the Quran the Akal leads you to the to the Quran once you know the Quran to be true you cannot use Akal to reject the Quran because Quran more truthfully the Akal tells tells you if this is the Quran I must believe in it if this what Allah says I mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says I must believe in it I might not understand everything but I must believe in it so we can conclude by staring at the summary what is the role of the intellect what is the purpose of the intellect the intellect is a faculty a sense that Allah has given to us it has its limit and it has and it has its realm of oppression of oppressing oppressing and if you use within that realm it's perfect like our eyes we use our eyes to see immediately around us in the broad daylight it's great the Quran will bring knowledge the intellect can never have. Like, for example, angels, heathen, and hell, and the gaib. Scientifically, can we prove the angel exercise? No! And the other example, can we prove our body has a raw inside of it? Or maybe. We often call it the soul. Sand has a role, keep it in. Its role. Don't take it beyond its role. And we conclude by stating that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has gifted us and created our intellect among us. And He also revealed our scripture and two of them are meant to be used in harmony to often are meant to be used our brother together as a cooperation and when we use our intellect to believe in Quran and to understand the Quran then we are using it incompletely reading Quran every time recite Quran every time Harmony will reach the pinnacle of our humanity. But if we attempt to derive a class to bring forth contract contradiction, then we will lose out on our intellect and we will lose out on believing in Quran. May the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the free intellect and with Iman. I think that's all from me. I apologize if I had a big, big, big mistake. The the mistake that I say that 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 I do or whatever I do. I think it's enough for this 
for this task. Bilahi taufiq wa hidayat. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.